You honor us with your presence here. Glad to see you and that egghead Lee made it here in one piece. I heard what happened to that purifier. Hell of a thing. Man, I don't know. Fighting uglies is one thing, but we've never gone up against anyone that well trained or organized. Even their tech is better. Don't get me wrong, the pride's in it to win it. And I'll go down shooting if I have to. I just hope I don't have to. Man, nothing dies like an ugly. I once saw Colvin snipe the leg off one at 200 yards. Thing pirouetted like a figure skater. You, my friend, are talking about the most elite fighting force ever assembled within the Brotherhood of Steel. Each of us was handpicked by Sentinel Alliance herself. You can't even realize what an honor that is. Sarah defines combat excellence. Me? Heavy weapons, miniguns, missile launchers. If it's bigger than a human and goes boom, I'm all over it. You figure out his name yet? <laughs> yeah, I had thought not. Back to it. The Brotherhood is at your service. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Damn initiates. Hmm? Oh, yes, hello, I've heard about you. We don't get many strangers here in the Citadel, especially those who walk about unescorted. I am Scribe Bowditch. If you require something, simply ask. Why, a great many things. There are three orders within the Scribes, you see, each dedicated to a different field of study. Of course, there's the Order of the Sword, Order of the Shield, and Order of the Quill. The Order of the Sword develops and maintains the Brotherhood's weapons. The Order of the Shield does the same for our power armor and defenses. The Order of the Quill is responsible for recovering and preserving knowledge, ancient and otherwise. I am Proctor of the Order of the Shield. I oversee the others in my order and make sure our defenses are up to snuff. Do you know how long it took to fortify these ruins? From the husk of the Pentagon, I carved a grand citadel. No easy task, my friend. Ah, but that was yesterday, when all we had to worry about was those damn super mutants. The Enclave, now, that's a different problem altogether. Very well. They're sporting some pretty impressive power armor, I'll give them that. The advanced Mark II. But that's all right. With a few modifications, our own armor will more than handle anything they throw at it. They're relentless, like nothing I've ever seen before. I honestly think they see our brothers in power armor as some kind of... canned meal. Some of the... pieces we've had brought back. Men and women ripped in half. Some pulled through their armor. Just horrible. Oh, yes, I can. In fact, I suspect I could write several texts on the various details of the Brotherhood. But I suspect you're in a hurry. So what particulars would you like to know? I'm afraid the answer to that is a lot more nuanced than others might suggest. Brotherhood members are sworn to acquire and protect technology of the past, but not everyone interprets these oaths in the same way. Elder Lyons sees these duties as part of a larger dedication to protect the innocent. Some, like the outcasts, disagree with these priorities. It's a rather sad story, I'm afraid. Last year, some of our soldiers had grave disagreements with the decisions of Elder Lyons. Disagreements spiraled out of control and there was a schism in the ranks. The loyal soldiers practically threw out the dissenters. Now they call themselves the Outcasts. Where Elder Lyons has fought to protect the people of the Capital Wasteland, the Outcasts demanded we move on and leave them to their fates. They insisted there was more important technology to be recovered and a scientific base in the ruins of Fort Independence to the West. As callous as their decision may be, it's more in line with our original mission. Elder Lyons is an inspiration to us, but to them, He's a traitor. 
The soldiers rallied behind Paladin Kasdan, who was one of Elder Lion's original squad. They served together for over 20 years. Kasdan was well respected and every bit as loyal to the Brotherhood as Elder Lion's. He just disagreed with the interpretations of our oaths. But when disagreements turned into fistfights, he left with the outcasts. We lost more allies that day than we ever have to any battle. Lyons and Kasdan would have to agree to any sort of reconciliation, and that's pretty unlikely. They're both quite proud and stubborn. Me, I just wish there was a way we could all agree that at least we're still on the same side. There are bigger problems out there, after all. As much as some of our soldiers would like to see them shot for deserting, there's not much we can do. We're too busy with the super mutants. Meanwhile, they're busy seeking out new technology and trying to get back in contact with the Brotherhood out west. So our paths rarely cross, but it's never pretty when they do. I just hope things cool down before it gets worse. It is a rather discouraging subject, isn't it? Oh, yes, I can. In fact, but I suspect you're in a hurry. So what particulars would you like to know? I like to think that I've still got some big achievements left in me, although some of my joints seem to disagree these days. I'll tell you what the lowlights of my time have been, though. Every time I've been shot at. I'm a scribe, not a soldier. It seems like whichever challenge we're facing is always the biggest one. Survival at first, then expansion, and now cohesion. We've seen plenty of wasteland freaks or would-be dictators. They're not too bad. At least we've faced that sort of thing before. But more recent events, like the schism with the outcasts, those are the problems that worry me. Okay. Anything else? I suppose that I can. The Brotherhood can make use of wasteland currency to trade. Farewell. Hail to you, son of James. The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake, but a mistake I'm proud of nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me. I cannot fault their dedication, even if I find them lacking in compassion. Only in a very broad sense, the Brotherhood's oaths are to protect humanity's progress, but not necessarily every human. The outcasts and members of the Brotherhood in other places consider it a waste to protect most people. After all, they say, everyone knows how to make another human, but the secrets to making a P-94 plasma rifle are all but lost. Even now, a year after they left, the wounds of their departure are still sore. Some of my soldiers are angry about it. They see it as an insult to me. Bless them for their loyalty. They're more angry about it than I ever was. Others understand their decision. Sometimes I hear them wondering if they should have gone with them. I can't blame them, but I stand by my decision, and I respect theirs. 
Has it been worth the cost in lives and resources to protect people like you from the super mutants? You tell me. I suspect my daughter's squad helped save your life, and most of our recent recruits have come from those we've saved over the years. It's cost us, but we've saved many lives, and made the Capital Wasteland a place where people can live. Yes, I'd say that's been worth it. Yes, let's speak of other things. Steel be with you. I ran some scans on the Enclave positions at the Purifier. That's some serious firepower they're packing. What do you think? Are you kidding me, right? Those Enclave troops are a joke. Right, right, good point. Listen, let's talk about this more later, okay? I have a decent tactical plan I can run by you. Roger that. Presence detected. This unit has activated. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Procedures initiated. Administering treat. Error, error. There has been an error in the medical subsystem. Please run a level two diagnostic. There has been an error in the medical subsystem. Please run a level two diagnostic. Command accepted. Beginning level two systems diagnostic. Please stand by. Diagnostic complete. Results indicate a level seven degradation in neural pathway 0X63A82. No further information available. Pathway 0X63A82 governs the motor control interface bridging the main medical software and the unit's manipulator arms. The current damage level would cause erratic behavior, potentially forcing the unit to behave outside of design parameters. Neural Pathway 0X63A82 Rerouted through Neural Pathway 0X374E82. Stand by. Full motor functions restored. Diagnostic reveals no critical failures. Asshole. Medical procedures initiated. Administering treatment. Please stand still. Medical procedure complete. Further instructions? Acknowledged. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. <laughs> 